everyone my name is vinay sethi i hope you all are staying healthy today we are going to talk about hypothesis testing we will see null and alternative hypothesis type 1 and type 2 error level of significance one tailed and two tailed test and we will also see what are z t f and chi square test with the procedure of hypothesis testing so let's start it what do you mean by hypothesis hypotheses are some statement which researcher assume to be true during a research hypotheses are some statement which researcher assume to be true during a research and during our research we test or we can say that verify these statement if our research data support our hypothesis then we accept it otherwise reject it please listen carefully if our research data support our hypothesis then we accept our hypothesis otherwise we reject it for example regular exercise can reduce the risk of disease improve mood and boost energy this is my hypothesis during my research i will verify or test this hypothesis if my research data support this hypothesis then i will accept this hypothesis otherwise reject it what is null hypothesis null hypothesis are statement which shows there is no relationship between two or more variable null hypothesis are statement which shows there is no relationship between two or more variable and we represent null hypothesis with h note and the main aim of researcher to collect evidence either to accept our null hypothesis or reject null hypothesis for example drug has no effect on blood pressure this statement shows there is no relationship between drug and blood pressure so this will be called null hypothesis because null hypothesis are a statement which shows there is no relationship between variable similar there is no relationship between good health and green tea this statement will also called null hypothesis and main aim of researcher to collect evidence either to accept this null hypothesis or reject this null hypothesis next is alternative hypothesis alternative hypothesis is opposite of null hypothesis alternative hypothesis is opposite of null hypothesis alternative hypothesis disapprove null hypothesis that means null hypothesis shows there is no relationship between variable but alternative hypothesis shows there is significant relationship between variable for example null hypothesis no relationship between green tea and uh, good health but when i do my research and collect data from so many people most of people are saying uh, our health is improving after taking uh, green tea that means there is some relationship between green tea and uh, good health so i will reject my null hypothesis and will make one alternative hypothesis which showing there is significant relationship between good health and green tea this will be called my alternative hypothesis because this hypothesis showing significant relationship between variable so what is type 1 error type 1 error occurs when you reject true null hypothesis type 1 error occurs when you reject true null hypothesis for example your null hypothesis is new drug has no effect and this is absolutely true but your study conclude drug is very effective so this will be called type 1 error because here you are rejecting null hypothesis which is absolutely true type 2 error type 2 error occurs when false null hypothesis is accepted when your study accept false null hypothesis then type 2 error occurs for example patient does not have any disease this is a false statement this is a false null hypothesis because in reality patient have a disease your study must be reject this hypothesis na but your study conclude patient doesn't have any disease that means your study accept false null hypothesis then obviously type 2 error occurs because type 2 error means when your study accept false null hypothesis 
level of significance our study will become successful if we accept true null hypothesis obviously we are accepting things which is absolutely true but this is not always possible probability of rejecting true null hypothesis or we can say that chance of making type 1 error will be called a level of significance probability of rejecting true null hypothesis or we can say that chance of making type 1 error will be called a level of significance for example i am sure 95 percent i am sure my decision is uh, correct but 5% is probability I can reject a true null hypothesis. This 5% will be called level of significance. Level of significance are represented by alpha and normally we have these value of alpha 0 0.10, 0 0.05 or 0 0.01. One tailed uh, test. First of all, what is rejection region? Rejection region depend on level of significance. Suppose level of significance 0 0.05 in order to verify our hypothesis we apply so many tests if our answer or we can say that if our value is more than 0 0.05 that means we will accept our null hypothesis otherwise reject it in order to show rejection area we have some specific region it will be called rejection region now please listen carefully we use a one tailed test when our rejection region located only on one tail of distribution. We use a one tailed test when our rejection region located only on one tail of distribution. This is a nor this bell curve shows a normal distribution. This one and this one are tail of distribution. We use a one tailed test when our rejection region located only on one tail of a distribution, either uh, on left side, this, this side, either on right side. Here you can see we are using only one tail of distribution, we are not using other tail of distribution. In such a case, we use a one tailed test. This is acceptance region and this one is a rejection region. Here you can see our rejection region located only on one tail of distribution. In such a case, we will use one tailed test. Two tailed test. We use two tailed test when rejection area located in both tails of our distribution. We use two tailed test when rejection area located in both tails of distribution. For example, level of significance is 5%. It will split into two part, 2.5% uh, this side and 2.5% this side. Test of hypothesis mainly divided into two part, parametric test and non-parametric test. Parametric test include Z test, T test and F test and one most important type of known parametric test is chi-square test. One by one we discuss about each test. Z test, we mainly use Z test in two cases. First, we can use Z test when sample mean is different from population mean. We can use Z test when sample mean is different from population mean. For example, you can use Z test to know average height of student in particular school which is significantly different from national average height. In second case, you can use Z test to compare mean of two independent uh, sample. For example, you could use Z test to compare average test score of students who use two different teaching methods. Z test mainly divided into two parts. One sample Z test, two sample Z test. One sample Z test we use to compare sample mean to non-population mean. Two sample Z test we use to compare two independent sample. This is formula of a one sample Z test. X bar sample mean, mu population mean, sigma population standard deviation, n sample size. This is formula of two sample Z test. X bar 1 and X bar 2 are sample mean. Sigma 1 and sigma 2 are standard deviation. N1 and N2 are uh, sample size. Next is a T test. We use a T test to compare mean of two group. 
in case of t test we need a small amount of uh, sample for example less than 30 but in case of z test we need large amount of sample t test mainly divided into three part one sample t test we use one sample t test to compare mean of a single sample to known standard value for example compare average weight of chocolate bar from the sample of a manufacturer who is saying uh, weight is uh, 50 gram independent sample test used to compare mean of two independent group for example compare effectiveness of two different painkiller on two separate group of patient paired sample t test we used to compare mean of two measurement taken from same individual but at different timing for example compare test score before and after training a program this is formula one sample test x bar observed mean of sample mu assumed mean s standard deviation and the sample size and this is formula of two sample test these are sample mean these are standard deviation and these are sample size and this is formula of paired t test d represent difference per paired value and n represent number of sample f test as we know variance in sample are possible and quite common and F test we use in order to determine if two or more uh, sample are come with the same variance or not. F test we use in order to determine if two or more samples uh, are come with the same variance or not. For example, we use F test in order to check variance in test score is same or not uh, for the student who are using different teaching method. An F test is fundamental in case of analysis of variance or you can say that F test is fundamental in case of ANOVA. In case of ANOVA, we use F test in order to know significant difference between mean of multiple group and main formula to calculate F test larger sample variance divided by smaller sample variance. Chi-square test. Chi-square test is very important uh, non parametric uh, test. And we mainly use chi-square test in order to compare observed frequencies with expected frequencies. We mainly use chi-square test in order to compare observed frequency with the expected frequencies. And this is formula of chi-square test O represent number of observed frequencies, E represent expected frequencies. Now is the procedure of testing hypothesis. In first step you will set your null hypothesis. In second step, you will set a suitable level of significance. After that, you will decide test whether Z, T, F or Chi square. Then you will make necessary calculation. Eventually, you will come to final decision. Final decision means you will decide whether you have to accept your hypothesis or reject it. Suppose your level of significance is 0.05. If value is greater than 0.05, then you will accept your null hypothesis otherwise reject it. So this is all about hypothesis testing. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.